I have a fun one. Go on. If you could choose three people mm -hmm. on a dinner table, dead mm -hmm. or alive, and they all speak the same language, mm -hmm. who would you choose? Because I know you met a lot of people in your yeah, life, yeah. and some maybe, maybe you never met, but would you love? You'd love. So to. everyone, everyone I admire is dead, and yeah. so so who's on the? It would table? be Steve Jobs. Uh -huh. I've studied Steve Jobs' life for years, and I find him fascinating and. He was very spiritual too. He spent a lot of time with monks in India. And so mm, I, I have that. a lot of fascination because he has this incredible East-West mm. paradigm and dynamic in his life. And so Steve Jobs would be at that table. I'd say Nikola Tesla, like okay. Tesla himself, yeah. because I think that there's very few people again. So you'll notice all the people I'm picking they had East and West, like they were able to see, like he was able to see science, but then there was, he had a belief in something beyond science. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what fascinates me is people who are able to find these synergies in, in things that we often see as black and white or opposites. Mm -hmm. The paradox is the contrast you talked about earlier. So Steve Jobs, Tesla. And yeah, I would say I would have to add Martin Luther King because I don't know anyone who like built, like, you know, when you talk about these people, what they built like shattered so many generations of thought. And so I think what, what I'm trying to do in the world is, we're, and what we're trying to do, both of us are trying to do in the world is we're trying to shatter so many myths and misconceptions that exist in the world around people around ideas around culture and society and i don't think can't think of anyone better than martin luther king who did it in such a prolific way and emphatic way that you know has made such a difference long lasting and broke down something that was so long standing so i agree yeah those three people